Hey y'all, um, this is the 120 or 110 volt video um, on how to wire your camper. Um, if you watched my last video, you'll know that I'm working on a horse trailer for a client and I'm upgrading their electrical system. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I did and how I did it before I put the walls on. Uh, so as far as um, this goes, this is a, you saw this in the last video, this is the uh, 38 breaker that I was talking about and uh, the other system that was in here was just a regular 110 plug that powered the AC and one outlet and I needed to upgrade it in order to hold the load of the microwave and the fridge and the stove and all that fun stuff. Um, so first thing that I did was I upgraded the incoming plug to a 30 amp plug. I think I bought that from RegPro and then I fed a wire from that plug. It's a 10-2 wire to my 30 amp breaker that's right here. Um, so I fed that in. The black wire goes to the breaker and the white wire goes with the white side and then the ground goes with the ground side. So pretty self-explanatory. Um, I've also got two 28 breakers and two 15 amp breakers in here. So these are the 220 and these are the 215. Now one 28 breaker goes straight to the AC because it draws a lot of power. So the AC needs to be on its own breaker. Um, the other 20 amp I wired directly to the stove. So the stove is also on its own breaker as well as the microwave, which is on a 15. Now the other 15 that I have right here, um, that powers my 12 volt converter that I have right here. And it also powers all of the outlets. So those are all on an individual breaker as well. Uh, let me go ahead and um, show you guys how I wired everything in the camper and let me know if you have some questions. Okay, so I'm going to start first with my main um, 30 amps coming in, which is that plug right there. Um, my 30 amps comes down into my breaker, which is right there. Um, so I got my 30 amps coming in right there. And then from my breaker, um, this is all, I used 12-2 um, wire right here. Um, you can use 14, but if you have a, an option to go higher and gauge, I would. So this is 12-2 wire right here. And as you can see, it goes up. So my first outlet goes up over here. And then this is my first outlet right here, which is the fridge. And then from the fridge, I take that and I went all the way over here, fed it through the walls. And this is going to be the outlet that is for the TV. Um, after that, it's fed up through the wall all the way over to right here where I have a um, outlet on the left hand side of the bed. And then there's going to be one on the right hand side of the bed. And then it goes up and then it goes back over and then it comes back down. So this is going to be just a normal outlet right here for the kitchen. Both of these two outlets are just regular outlets. They can plug a coffee maker in or whatever they want to plug in. Now, this one right here is going to be a GFCI outlet because there's going to be a sink right here. So um, if you're going to be near water, definitely install a GFCI outlet. And this one is also going to be protected because as you can see, it is connected directly to it. Um, so definitely do that. Um, I didn't want to put the fridge on a GFCI, so that's why I wired it kind of backwards, if that makes sense at all. Um, this one right here is actually going to be the stove and it comes up and comes down and it's actually on its own breaker. Same thing with the microwave comes up, down, and then it comes in the breaker. Same thing with the AC, comes up, down, and into the breaker. And I think that is pretty much it for the 120 or the 110 side. Um, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's not hard to do. You just got to know what size wire to use. And basically the hardest part is figuring out where your outlets are going to go. Um, but if you guys have questions, let me know. And I'm happy to help. Y'all have a good day.